Hello students, Mr. Stone here at Aaron Cohn. On behalf of the faculty and staff, I want to let you know how much we've missed you and how excited we are to finally get you back in the building. Uh, we're going to take time in this video to kind of show you what it's going to look like when you get back because it is going to be a little bit different. We're also going to kind of take you through some different procedures and things that we're going to expect as you come back. So please pay attention to this video. As you get back, your teachers will give you more information on things that will happen throughout the day as far as changing classes, uh, wearing masks, distancing and so forth. So pay attention to the video. And like I said, your teachers will give you more information along the way. And as you get back, don't forget to please wear your doggone mask. When you arrive to Aaron Cone, a staff member will come and take your temperature. If your temperature is too high, you will have to head on home. If we take your temperature and your temperature is in the range of normal, then you can come into school and you're going to report immediately to your ILT classroom. Now, if you are riding the bus, then you're going to be looking for Coach Ingram and Coach Thompson to get your temperature taken. You will then enter in through the bus loop and go down the exploratory hallway down to your ILT classroom. If you need to pick up breakfast, then the first thing you're going to do once you enter the school is go to the cafeteria and grab your to-go breakfast. You will then take that to your ILT classroom. Walkers will enter through the front drop-off area or the bus loop, whichever is closest to their house. You may notice hand sanitizing stations around the school. Your teachers will go over with you when and how to use these stations appropriately. Just as a review, Temperatures will be taken immediately upon arrival. Any temperature that is outside of the normal range will either have the students sent home or put into an isolation room. Once you arrive to the school, you will immediately go to your ILT. If you need breakfast, then please go to the cafeteria first, pick up your breakfast, and then take that to your ILT. Before entering the classroom, you will need to get some hand sanitizer and sanitize your hands at the hand sanitizing station located outside of the classroom. You will need to get some hand sanitizer and then rub your hands together until they feel dry. Once you enter the classroom, you will need to go to your assigned seat and get ready for your instructor to start telling you about the social distancing protocols. I need you to pay attention to this wonderful line on the floor. This is a line that you cannot go beyond. I can cross this line, but you cannot. Because each classroom has a different size and different amounts of students in them, the social distancing in the classroom will be discussed by each individual teacher. Be aware of boundaries that may be marked on the floor and please understand what they mean. You will have a seating chart for each and every class you attend. Now these are our Aaron Cone Bulldog bark expectations. We should know to be respectful. Being respectful means listening while someone is talking. Being respectful means be on task, be focused. Being respectful means respecting others' property. The A in bark means act with integrity. That means being on time. That means being ready to learn. Do your best, work honestly. The R means remember safety. This means you need to ask for permission before leaving your seat. Yes, you may go. Thank you for asking for permission. Also, keep your hands and belongings to yourself. Be sure to wash or sanitize your hands often. Be sure to abide by the social distancing principles put forth by your classroom teacher. And last but not least, Wear your dog one mask. The K in Bart is kindness matters. This year, you will use the front stairwell to go up only. You are not allowed to go down the front stairwell. You are going to use the back stairwell to go down only. You will not go up the back stairwell. No matter what hallway you are on, you are going to keep to your right as you move to the hallway. This means your right shoulder should be closest to a wall. Your left shoulder should always be facing the middle of the hallway. 
lunchtime procedures will be discussed with you during second and fifth period. Dismissal procedures will be discussed with you during third and sixth period. All right, so I'm alone in my classroom, so I've taken off my mask, but I'm gonna show you guys how you should be washing your hands every time you wash your hands. So if you don't know, you need to be scrubbing for 20 seconds. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my soap and turn on my water. Now what I like to do beforehand is prepare my paper towel first. You might not always have time to do that because you're gonna be between classes, but realistically speaking, here's how you wash your hands. You have to wash your hands for 20 seconds. So you wanna get your hands wet and you're gonna be washing the palms of your hands in between the fingers, you're gonna wash the thumbs like this, you're gonna wash the back of your hands, and the new way that the CDC recommends that you scrub is with your fingers like so. Okay, so that way you can get the fingertips and under the fingernails. Now this should last you all of 20 seconds. Now I'm not quite sure how long has passed, how much time has passed since I started washing my hands, so one way that you can do it is by singing the chorus of we will rock you three times in a row, but instead you can always change it in your head to we will wash you. So. We will, we will wash you. We will, we will wash you. We will, we will wash you. And that should be 20 seconds. So now I'm going to rinse my hands off and get a paper towel. Now I'm gonna show you what this looks like when you guys are using the sinks over in the bathroom. I just wanted to record in here because it's a little bit more quiet. So one major difference with the sink in the bathroom versus the sink in my classroom is that the sink in the bathroom has an automatic sensor that will turn the water on when you get in front of it. Now you're gonna scrub your hands for 20 seconds, which means that you can sing the We Will Rock You three times, or you can sing Happy Birthday twice, or you can sing the chorus to Beyonce's Love on Top. It's pretty much whatever you would like. Then after you watch for 20 seconds, you're gonna rinse off the soap be sure not to flick water everywhere like I'm about to do. I don't know why I do that. It's like a force of habit. Then you're going to get your paper towel, dry your hands, and be sure to throw that paper towel away. So, our review of hand washing. Make sure you scrub for 20 seconds. Be sure to wash your palms, back of hands, between fingers, your thumbs, and the fingertips and nails. 